there are other journalists who suspect there may be uh, other things at play here, including uh, big pharma trying to uh, capitalize on uh, this pandemic and try to make money off of a vaccine that may not even be safe. It's a great time to be a high-producing cow. Pozilac One Step, Bovine Somatotropin by Monsanto. The federal government basically rubber stamped it before they put it on the marketplace. The longest test they did for human toxicity was 90 days on 30 rats. Pozilac is the single most tested new product in history and is now available to you specifically so you can increase your profit potential. And then either Monsanto misreported the results to the FDA or the FDA didn't bother to look in depth at Monsanto's own studies. The scientists within Health Canada looked very carefully at bovine growth hormone and came to very different conclusions than the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. did. Monsanto's engineered growth hormone did not comply with safety requirements. It could be absorbed by the body and therefore did have implications for human health. Mysteriously, that conclusion was deleted from the final published version of their report. We have been pressured and coerced to pass drugs of questionable safety, including the RBST. I personally was very concerned that there's a very serious problem of secrecy, conspiracy, and uh, things of that nature, uh, and something needs to be done. They said, in 1962, we're going to work toward total global implementation of Codex Alimentarius on December 31st, 2009. They were sort of guidelines. Now, Codex Alimentarius Commission is administered by the World Health Organization, WHO, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. They fund Codex and they run it at the request of the UN. So they're mommy and daddy to Codex Alimentarius. In 1994, Codex, with no notice here in this country whatsoever, declared nutrients, put on your intellectual seatbelt, declared nutrients to be toxins. They're poisons. Under Codex, every dairy cow on the planet must be treated with Monsanto's recombinant bovine growth hormone. Furthermore, under Codex, every animal used for food on the planet must be treated with subclinical antibiotics and must be treated with exogenous growth hormones. If you do the numbers in the WHO FAO projections, the epidemiological projections, they estimate, not I, that just the vitamin and mineral guideline alone, when it goes into global implementation on December 31st, 2009, will result in a minimum of three billion, that's B, bad, B, billion deaths. All individuals have a natural right to their life and liberty, and we don't get them we get these rights from our government, we get these rights from our creator, we get them in a natural way. The only purpose of government is to protect those rights. Certainly one of the most important principles uh, embodied in the U.S. Constitution is the recognition that individual rights come from God, and the purpose of government is to protect those rights. The United Nations uh, recognizes no God above the U.N., uh, the United Nations recognizes no uh, impediments or restrictions on its power. A new world order, a civilization of love, can be achieved. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. 
you can fill your roles and assume your responsibility, or you can effort to shoot down the host of God. When you take on the host of God and God, and declare war against them, you have taken on a very, very substantial enemy. Anytime the government has secrets that can, they can keep from us, they can manipulate us by those secrets. In essence, they still remain 25 years at least ahead of us in technology, information, and knowledge, and secrets, and they are using them against us. I heard over the years, many times over, that the plan to usher in the new world order would be to make all the people in this country and around the world feel totally helpless to prevent the new world order from occurring, this world dominance plan by saying that we had been invaded by aliens so that we would say, oh please UN, come in and help us all. So bear in mind that there is a planned orchestration to get people to be submissive through the secret technology and information that they're keeping from you under the blanket of the so-called National Security Act that's threatening the security of our nation. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. There is a strong case to be made that secret military technology offers a convincing explanation for many UFO stories. I think that there's something very big going on here that's been going on for thousands of years and, it, and it's, it's a spiritual battle. And, and I'm not sure that any of us really understand the full implications of what the word God means, what the scriptures are really all about. Uh, the implications are just staggering for the, the future of the human race.